be a quick video on how to remove and replace the AC condenser fan and the radiator cooling fan on a 2006 Honda Civic, which also works on uh, 06 through 11. So after doing some uh, troubleshooting on this car due to overheating, um, the issue was that the condenser fan is not working anymore. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go ahead and remove it and replace it. So these are the fans that I got. Now you don't have to replace both, but due to the fact that this uh, car has over 180,000 miles, I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, knock out both since I'm in there. So each one goes for about $85. Um, I'll put a link below on where you can find them. We'll do a quick step-by-step. Uh, -step. So let's go ahead and get started. Make sure that the fans uh, look the same as the ones that you have in the car now. Uh, make sure the bolt pattern and all the everything, wiring and stuff looks the same. Um, pretty easy, just in case they sent you the wrong part before we dismantle our car. So we're gonna pop the hood open. Now there's two places to uh, actually latch it. Here's uh, the first one. And then this one actually back here allows you to have the hood uh, wider. So next thing is going to be removing these clips. So as you can see, one's already missing on mine. You're going to remove that one, this one, and this one. So you can use a screwdriver to pop it open. Uh, here, kind of same idea. You're going to take the, the inner part out, lift up, and then that releases it and it takes out the clip. So let's go ahead and do that, all four. Once we remove all the little clips, uh, all we're going to do is move this over to the side and we're gonna pull this over. Same thing over here, move this to the side, pull this over, and once that is done, all you're going to do is you're going to get this cover off the lip. So pull back. But once it's off the lip, all you're going to do is you're going to bring it up, kind of twist upwards and slide out. Remove this, take it off to the side. All right, next we're going to remove this uh, this wiring harness here. So pretty simple, all you gotta do is press down here and release it. And then follow the wiring harness. Uh, there should be a clip that goes here, but mine's is broken. So just remove that. This clip is removed. We are gonna take off the clip that goes to the other fan. Um, first, we're gonna take off the battery to make it a lot easier. Let's do that next. So we'll remove the battery with a 10 mil. And once we remove the cables, we will remove the clamps that holds down the battery. So we'll do that. All right, once we disconnect the battery, we're gonna remove the clip here. Pretty simple, same as the other side. Press in and push out. After that, there's another little clip on the side here that we're gonna have to remove. So, so, here it is from this angle, pretty much goes here. And just pop the, pretty much just pop it out. All right, so one thing on my vehicle, uh, there are some clips that are broken off. On yours, uh, you might still have clips. So just follow this cable and you'll see if there's any more clips attached. Your next step is gonna be removing these uh, two bolts holding the bracket for the radiator fill cap. We just push this aside. We'll just put the bolts back in so we know where they came from and we don't lose them. Next step will be these here. You can remove them with the Allen wrench All right, and again, I'll just put the bolts back in through so we know where they came out of and we don't need them. Next step is where you have to remove the bolts behind this here. You can see that bolt here holding this bracket. You can do it to that one. And right there, this one here. All right, so now be careful because there's uh, washers in here. So just make sure you don't lose these uh, right there on the inside and the outside. So we're, we're just going to loosen it up, leave it as is. The next step is we're going to be removing three bolts on each side, which is here, here, and one on the inside, which is, which is back here. 
and these three bolts will be on each side. So we'll remove this with a 10 mil socket. So once we remove the right side, we'll remove the left. So we're gonna lift this up. So one thing, just make sure to make sure so one thing, just make sure that no cables or clips are still attached. Kind of just lift it up and move it off to the side. All right, so the next step is gonna be to remove the fan here. So the way to remove it is there's two bolts here, 10 mil, one here, one here. And then it actually sits on two pins on the bottom. So if you look at this, uh, you can see the two pins here and here, uh, basically just go into a a slot on the bottom so they just kind of go down so we'll remove the two bolts and then pull up all right careful when you take this out they do have washers so make sure that you don't lose those and once you take those out you just pull straight out so this one was very easy to take off there you go uh, this fan pretty much same idea remove these two bolts and then you're gonna have to pull up and off to the side to bring it out So we kind of twisted it off a little um, and then pulled it out. All right guys, so now the fun part, we're just gonna install the new fans. So as you can see, here's the little pins. Uh, these you'll see on the bottom uh, down here. You'll see the little slots they go into. So we just gotta maneuver the fan in there and get the pins into the slots. Once those uh, bottom two pins are in, it's gonna take a little bit of work to kind of wiggle it in there. Uh, but once you, you get it in there, uh, you can actually feel this side on the bottom that it's actually seated properly and this one will be aligned uh, once that's done. And we'll put the bolt back in. Pen is in we put the other one in the same way so pins go right inside that fitting so pins will go inside those little slots so once that's installed we're gonna put the radiator support back on so pretty much the same way you removed it so it goes right in here. And just line it up with these little tabs here this one and then there's another one over on this side so once we put the support back in uh, let's remove these bolts here so we let it slide back in all right so once we get the frame support back in just make sure that all everything is running without getting pinched uh, make sure it lines up here with the radiator and here you can see uh, make sure nothing's in the way and then we'll put the bolts back in so three on each side everything should line up just fine make sure to pull the radiator fill cap back above and again this wire harness make sure that it's not getting pinched So we won't tighten anything up completely until we get all the bolts in.
So once we get all six, three on each side, uh, we'll just make sure that they all line up fine. Um, once that is good, then we'll tie in these down. All right, now that those are done, we will put this one and this one on this side. And the one on the other side, they should line up without an issue. Once you get those uh, bolts in, the next one will be here for the Allen wrench bolts. So one here, one on the other side. All right, next step will be the radiator fill cap here. After that, the wiring harness here. You remember we're gonna clip the little clip that goes up here back on so you can see the clip here push it back in place there so while moving this around this hose came loose so we'll just put this back on we'll put a pl clamp here uh, so just make sure that nothing has been uh, removed uh, like it has on my end Oop. The next step is going to be this uh, wiring harness. We're going to plug it in. And then we're going to clip this to the body. Once this side is done, we'll go to the next fan. And again, follow the same, same as the other side. We'll connect it first. And then we'll follow the clips again my clips have broken here so you might have some clips that you'll have to clip onto the body so next step is going to be this cover so again just slide it through Just remember this goes underneath here same thing on this side and then this slip will go underneath the chrome so Just put the push clips in through here. One, two, three, and four. Now, now as far as the push clips, a lot of these uh, end up being broken. Uh, you could buy sets, um, Amazon or eBay or anywhere that you want. These are pretty inexpensive, $14, $15 for a set. And you can just find a clip that fits into any of these. So that's next. Luckily, we still have some of the old ones. All right, guys, next step is going to be the battery. So install the battery, uh, pretty simple. Guys, one thing I really recommend is when you do this, uh, one thing that would help you out is filming what you're doing or taking pictures at least. So that way, uh, if you come across an issue where you don't know where something goes just uh, go back look at the picture and then uh, that will help you out a lot all right so once everything is done uh, just do another quick look through um, look around make sure that nothing is loose missing um, everything should be properly secured um, if everything is done then once you turn on the vehicle your fan should be working Both fans should be turned on, working properly. If not, then uh, you should listen to your wife and take them to the mechanic. But 
Hopefully this video helped you out, saved you some money. If so, please hit that thumbs up and leave a comment below. It really helps out the channel. Thanks.